there guys, this is Mr. Herbst and today we are going to go ahead and uh, explore a little bit on how to use our CPO physics timers and photo gates. Alrighty here guys, this is a typical uh, setup for our CPO timers. Uh, here is photo gate A, here is photo gate B. Uh, a is plugged into A, B is plugged into, into B right here in the back. Uh, right here we'll call this our computer. We could also call it a, a stopwatch if we want to. It has many different functions. We today are going to play around with the photo gate interval settings for seeing how long it takes for certain objects to go through our uh, photo gates. These devices right here uh, on the left and the right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plug it in right in here and then the other goes into a regular old wall socket right here. The first thing you're going to see is it says CPO. Uh, you're going to want to hit reset. Reset this thing to zero. Reset is the red button right in here. Now I want you guys to, pay, to, to know that, it, that this device here will also work if, if only one of the photo gates is plugged in. For example, if I unplug here photo gate B, Photo gate A is still plugged in, and you can see that the light is on for photo gate A. If I put my hand through photo gate A, it starts the timer, and as soon as my, photo, my hand leaves, photo gate A stops. Now, if I plug in photo gate B, and I switch our lights over to B right in here, hit reset. Now, if I put my hand in photo gate B, it starts the timer, and I take my hand out, it stops the timer. Now, take a look. Since the light is on for B, if I put my hand through A, nothing happens. But if I go ahead and hit our reset button, switch back over to A, only A is lit up, now photo gate A works. Now, take a look. If I put my hand through B, it no longer works. The, the light that's on indicates which photo gate is going to be doing the measuring. I'm going to pause for a second here, guys, and we are actually going to uh, take a step back and actually investigate a little bit what is causing the timer to start as soon as my hand goes through, the photo, for, through photo gate A. A lot of us, at first glance, are going to want to say, well, it's the photo gate that starts the timer. Well, I've never actually seen the photo gate get up and walk and hit the start button on the timer. Uh, that, would, that would be pretty, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but uh, I, I've never seen it do that, so I'm going to go ahead and say it doesn't happen. However, you, if you pay close attention, something happens as soon as my hand goes through photo gate A. And as soon as my hand go, comes out of photo gate A, the timer stops. So you might guess that there's some sort of sensor in here that's causing, uh, that's causing the timer to start. Right in here, there is an infrared, uh, infrared beam. You can't see it. But if my fingers break the beam, the timer starts. And if my fingers leave the, 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 the photo gate, the timer stops. The same thing happens with photo gate B. My fingers go in, they break the beam of, of light, and then they, uh, the beam of light is repaired, and the photo gate stops. Now what happens when both timers are on? We'll hit our reset button here. What happens when both lights are on? Let's go ahead and explore that a little bit. If I go through photo gate A, look what happens now. I went through photo gate A and took my hand out, but the timer's still going up. What we're doing right now is measuring the time it takes for photo gate A to activate the timer and then photo gate B to stop the timer. This would be useful in something like a car race. Imagine if we had a car race of 10 cars and we say, all right, race starts, boom, race starts, and they're off, all 10 cars. And here comes driver one, boom, here's his time. Driver two, here's his time. Driver three, here's his time. Driver four, his time. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then finally ten is the, the, is the loser, and there's timer, there's car ten's time. I want to go ahead and explore a little bit our function of the stopwatch setting right here, and when we switch over to this light right here, which says stopwatch. Now the, the timer here, no, these things no longer work. Photo gate A no longer works. However, we do have a stopwatch function. 
If you hit A, it starts the stopwatch, and if you hit A again, it start, stops the stopwatch. If you hit A again, it will start it again, B will stop it again, or sorry, A will stop it again, and then hit reset to reset. Here guys, that concludes uh, a brief overview of the timers and photo gates we're going to be using in, here in physics. Uh, I, I realize that was a lot of information to throw at you. If you need to, pause, rewind. That's the purpose of the video here, guys. The power of the pause button. Anyway, this is Mr. Herbst and a Herbst Science production. I'm signing off, folks. Y'all have a nice day.